conductors, especially copper, the conductor that we commonly work with, has countless numbers of electrons that are free to move within its volume. Now, these electrons are constantly colliding with other electrons and other particles in the copper. So one question we can ask ourselves is this. What is the mean time between collisions of the electrons in this copper wire? So in other words, on average, how long does it take between collisions for electrons in our copper? To answer this question, let's start off with our definition of conductivity. Conductivity has been shown to be equal to the number density of conduction electrons times the magnitude of the electric charge squared times the mean time between collisions divided by the mass of our charge carriers. In this case, the mass of our charge carrier is the mass of the electron. Now, conductivity is the measure of the ability for a material, a conductor, to move charge. And conductivity is based off of the properties of the material itself. It's based off of the number density. And in this case, the number density for copper is 8.5 times 10 to the 28th electrons per meter cubed. Conductivity is also dependent on the mass of the charge carriers. In this case, our charge carriers are electrons, and the mass of an electron is 9.109 .09 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Conductivity depends on the magnitude of charge of a charge carrier, which for an electron, the magnitude of its charge is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. And conductivity also depends on the mean time between collisions of our charge carriers. And that's what we are trying to find for this problem. We are trying to find the mean time of collisions. So rearranging this expression with conductivity in it, so the mean time of collisions is equal to the ratio of the product of the conductivity times the mass of a charge carrier over the number density of the conduction electrons in our material times the magnitude of the charge squared. So this is a simple plug and chug type of problem. For the conductivity of copper, we have 6.0 times 10 to the seventh mohs. Mohs is the unit of conductivity. We would spell it M-H-O-S. And all a mo is, one mo is equal to one reciprocal ohm meter. So this means that the mean time of collisions is equal to 6.07 times 10 to the 7th mohs, or in other words, a reciprocal ohm meter, times the mass of an electron, which is 9.109 .09 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms, divided by the number density of conduction electrons in copper, which is 8.5 times 10 to the 28th reciprocal meters times the magnitude of the charge of an electron, which is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs quantity squared. After doing my unit check, and you should confirm the unit's work on this, after doing the unit check and plugging into my calculator, I get the mean time of collisions between the conduction electrons in copper is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the minus 14th seconds. 
Now, that's an extremely short amount of time. How short is it? Well, think about it like this. 2.5 times 10 to the minus 14 is equal to 25 thousandth of a trillionth of a second. 25 thousandth of a trillionth of a second? That's an insanely short amount of time. And, and that's such a short amount of time. These conduction electrons are constantly colliding with other particles in the copper. And that's why with such a large number of collisions in such a short amount of time, this is why the drift speed of electrons in a conductor like copper is very, very slow on the order of about a millimeter per second.